I've arrived in Kuwait. Um, it's really warm outside. I'm just about to head off to see the sights, whatever they are. There goes my taxi's just dropped me off, and there's the Kuwaiti Towers. All right, I'm heading for that, the viewing sphere, which I presume is up there. Well, here I am. So this is the viewing platform on the sphere. And there's some sort of water park down there. Doesn't look very busy though. Apparently this uh, was attacked by the Iraqis during the uh, war. As all of these sort of describe. Even the air conditioning controls are always harmed by the barbaric invaders. Well, that's where I am now. I'm going to walk along the corniche to all these bits. The next stop is the fish market. So that's where I've just been. And there's the gulf. I'm walking along the corniche. So I've just had some lunch and uh, look at this all these boats. It's the fish market, but I'm not sure. Have a look, market thing, loads of fish everywhere. So I found it, but now it's time. So this is the uh, old fishing market, fish hub. That is the Grand Mosque. Well, I was just about to take a video of the. Uh, President leaving, but got moved on from the safe palace by some guard saying, Please go, go. So I did. These two buildings make it quite famous. I think that's the Badir house and that's the Sadu house. Which I think he was wrong. I think it's this. That's the famous one. The door to it, um, I think it is the Badr house, which. <coughs> This is one of, apparently one of the last examples of pre-oil oil residential architecture. So there you go. Building site everywhere, I've got to traverse all this. Uh -oh. Don't know where I'm going now. Not all of Kuwait's glitzy and glamorous. There's the fifth world's highest communication tower. And on this one, it's got the temperature. 36 degrees C. So I'm just near the hotel again, and it's obviously the call to prayer. Right, it's going to be sunset in about an hour, so I'm going to head back to that Kuwaiti Towers and watch the sunset from there. Right, so I'm back here again. See the sunset from here. It's quite nice from night time, night time in Kuwait. to eat around here. It's like the souk area. Well, I'm sat in a restaurant and I'm, uh, I've ordered some murhab chicken. God knows what it's going to be like, but anyway. Well, my meal was actually quite nice, actually. Um, and now it's uh, time for bed. My day in Kuwait is finished. Good night. So it's 5am and I'm about to catch my taxi back to the airport. I'm very tired. So it's... Goodbye, Kuwait.